In this video, we'll learn how to connect a wide delta bank using three single-phase transformers that use two primary bushings, and why using them has a few advantages and disadvantages. A wide delta bank can supply single-phase and three-phase power, where the single-phase is intended to be the main usage. This means it requires a lighter transformer and a power transformer. Let's begin with the connections, starting on the primary side. Connect the H2 bushings together. Then, connect the H1 bushings of each transformer to a phase, starting with the A phase, then the B phase, and ending with the C phase. Notice how each transformer in a wide delta bank is connected to a phase, but not grounded to a neutral. We call this floating the Y point. The industry uses a saying to help remember whether to ground the neutral or float the neutral on the primary side. Y, Y, you tie. Y delta, you float. Single phase transformers with two primary bushings must be used when floating the Y point to ensure the neutral point can adjust to the system's imbalances. Using only one primary bushing wouldn't allow this to occur. It's important to note that floating the Y point can be hazardous to the next line worker because there's no ground source for power to flow to on the primary side. Ultimately, the decision to either ground or float the Y point is up to the power company. Let's move on to the secondary side to complete the connections. Our secondary coils are connected in series. To configure the delta secondaries, first, bond all transformer cases together and tie them to ground. Then, we'll connect the lighter transformer's X2 bushing to the neutral. Next, connect the X1 of the first transformer to the X3 of the second transformer. Connect the X1 of the second transformer to the X3 of the third transformer. Then, connect the X1 of the third transformer to the X3 of the first transformer. To supply power to the customer, you'll run hot legs from the X3 and X1 of the lighter transformer, which has the neutral. The delta secondary will need a power leg to supply the three-phase load. The power leg is always placed one and a half coils from the neutral. In this example, we'll use the X3 on the first transformer, which we'll refer to as the power transformer. Remember, the power leg differs from the hot legs and should never be used to supply single-phase power. It's reserved for three-phase power only. On a Y delta bank, if one of the transformers goes out, power would halt to the customer. This type of connection helps the power company know when there's an outage to the customer. Additionally, since a Y delta bank is a bank of single phase units, they can be reconnected as an open Y open delta to supply power to the customer temporarily before a permanent solution is made. There are two ways to connect an open Y open delta on the secondary side. To learn more, check out our Open Y Open Delta Banks video. So, what did we learn? Single-phase transformers with two primary bushings must be used when floating the Y point. Delta secondaries require all three transformers to supply single-phase power. A Y Delta bank can be reconfigured to an Open Y Open Delta to temporarily supply power to the customer. Remember to always check your voltage and rotation according to company procedures. Thanks for watching this Northwest Lyman College tutorial. Work safe out there.